Hey everybody, welcome here to the European Pro League and hope you guys are feeling well as we'll be starting off with this one, Permita W versus Astralis W. So two women's team in two great organizations and let's just see how they will do following into this one. As you guys can see, Pigeons winning 2-0 against Astralis women will go through and qualify quite easily here going 2-0 2-0 and now we'll see um virtuous pro angels actually losing against permita w2-0 and then now permita versus astralis w let's see how they will do here quite the talents in these lineups as well and the permita w we have tinka gabby gaba uh, amy b mrs fire and sunside on that lineup and on the Astralis female lineup, we do have uh, Aurora, Anya, Josephine, Ismo, and Marie. The lineups of this squad here. So let's see how uh, they will do here as we'll be following through the map pick is here permit a w picking nuke followed by vertigo for astralis uh, for star wars w and anubis shall be the decider so anubis shall be the decider actually so let's see how they will do here following through into this one we have a map veto coming up uh and here is the map veto so most likely the teams will be starting off as ct side and uh see how they'll do bull geyser nice <laughs> bull kaiser nice to see you my dude hope you guys are hope you're doing well now as we'll be jumping in to round number one round number one come through see what they'll do here They are coming forward here against Ismo towards the B ramp. She backs away and gets a kill as well. Survives and does get a little bit of damage done here. Together with Anya, they will do it well. And Marie will already be towards the B site here, trying to. Oh, almost timing the bomb, actually. Sunside will find Josephine. And Marie will find a bomb planter. Aurora finds her frag as well. And. This will be a tough one here because now it's a 4v2 situation here. They'll try to push Marie, but Marie together with Aurora will get the help. And uh, mean, meanwhile, Aurora survives. Marie just finds the frags. It's nice to see her just back, so backing away for the reload, but Aurora's still in the shot line. I think that actually benefited them. But yeah, going into round number two here. Let's just see what they can do from here. Outside of yard, it's Marie getting a little bit of fight here as well. Aurora will find the frag. Marie will find Sunside as well. Gabba comes in and goes down. Looks like they're having fun. As Anya finds Tinka. 2 0 for Astralis Women right now, and uh, they're having a field day on the CT side. See if they can actually. I mean, starting off on CT on a new, on Nuke can mean so, so good in some uh, positions, really, because now you have very much advantage. You can start off the game quite well. And if you win the pistol round on the T side, surely you get some. more advancements here but a tech pause arrives Let's see might have been the cause here but hopefully it will be resolved
So yeah, the round has started. Round number three. It's a rifle round for Permita W, and this is their opportunity to try to get themselves into the game here. They lost the pistol round. Lost to Phil Eco as well. Now they do have the opportunity to try to get back into the game here. Think up. Oh, I mean, it's an aggressive play from Astralis W, but they will get those frags. Marie goes down out in yard, which allows Permita to go towards this secret area. Yeah, towards the B side, they'll just run through here. This mobile will hear everything, but dude, the timing is up here. A maybe goes in the nades. Josephine has to back away for a little bit. Oh, actually, some good damage done as well through the smoke. They smell down to 48. As the plant arrives, Nade won't help too much here for the Danes, but the Nade on Josephine will help. She'll get down Mrs. Fire. This 4v3 becomes a 3v3 right now. Moving in. Let's see what they can do from here. Maybe just comes out of the smoke here. That's a good tactic, but that won't be enough. It's a 1v1 now. Gobbo versus... Oh, wait. Josephine. She sticks it. She sticks it. She sticks it. And she gets away with it. Beautifully done from here. And Astral's W take that third one with the Ninja Diffuse. So, see what they can do from here. As they are coming through. Weapons on both sides still. I mean, they did get the bomb plant permit. A economy will be a matter of fact here for both sides. Tinka tried to hold the push, but it's the second time we do see Astralis doing this play and so succeeding with this. They should get the information that this is not towards A side at all. They, they will try to go towards the B right now. Gabo just holds the vents. Ismo is already through here. Gets that kill. Gets the second as well. This is huge as she gets the third one before going down. Mrs. Fire will find the refrag, but she's down low as well. Going down to the nade won't even get an opportunity to plant the bomb. But what a round from Ismo. What a round from Ismo, ladies and gentlemen. So, going into this one here, it's uh, buy what you can buy, really. It's Amy B will find Marie out in the yard. They have been successful in getting down Marie out in the yard now two times. See if that might continue for them as Ismo finds that one, but uh, Gabba will go for the refrag here. This could be something convertible for Permita. As Sunside will find Aurora as well. They will have a good opportunity here.
in here as they arrive. And Joe finds that one as they're trying to go towards a site here. Josephine in a 2v1 backs away as Tinka pushes through. Gobble's quite low. So if Tinka goes down here, this is... Whoa. The time. Astralis W makes it in time. Gobble won't make the plant. What just happened? There's some questions. There's a lot of questions from my part, at least as well. And they have a timeout here. They'll be talking about what just happened, maybe. What are we doing? will be coming through here. See what they can do. Coming towards here, towards the main side, it's Marie finding two, denying them the yard take from the east side. But here, Gaba takes two refrags, but it's actually Josephine grabbing the two frags in the end as well. And we got 6-0 for Stralis W. They just pick round by round here and really does, does an amazing T CT side. I'll just let out my cat. I'll be back in a moment. Cat has been freed, chat, but into round number seven we'll go. And some options to be made. Josephine finding two frags here, playing aggressively towards the lobby area. While they go, go out from hut, Tinka will find a frag, refrag on Marie, but Ismael Anya, Ismo Anya is quick on the spot. And there we go. I mean... Nothing quite works right now on the T side here. As Pyramida will be trying it out, but there's nothing they can really do here. Aurora finds Amy B. As she's trying to go pass through here. Oh, that one. Sunside will find Marie, but Aurora with a refrag. With a trade, actually, but the nade was quite beautifully done from her. See here, Sunside tries to find a frag as well, but probably just make it down secret. Charles have a good coach. I mean, uh, the coach has been working closely with Aurora as well, from what I've heard. Uh, and also, we do see quite, in some teams, we see quite the meta of the opera being the IGL in the female scene. I'm not sure that happens. It has happened before on the male scene, but not as much. As of now, Nade's utility's been thrown out here. Sunside will be trying to hold off with the op. She does spot the gun rifle. 
gun barrel on Josephine is Anya. We'll find that when Anya makes it against Sunside here. The Molotov will be coming through. Ismo pushes through, finds the frag on Tinka. Tinka, yeah, I mean, it's such a locked position. Sunside is on. And we'll be having 8 0 for Strawless W. So let's see here. Trying to go through the B ramp against Ismo. Ismo just damages. She knows that if she peeks again, she'll be dead. So she tries to take a different position and try to battle out in that position, but that will be a tough one for her. As Josephine will find a frag towards the B side. Here comes Permita trying to roll by, trying to get an entry somehow here. Josephine in a good spot. As of now, it's a post plant play with a 4v4 situation here. They're quite low on the Permita W side. That should be said. I mean, Gobble with 8 HP, Sunside with 4 to 4, Mrs. Fire with 3 to 3. And there we go, Sunside going down here, Mrs. Fire firing back. As they're going in towards the B side here, Marie will be holding the double doors position here. They do know that there's more players towards the radio area. Marie pushes in, finds another one. Inca will put some damage done here, but Marie comes and saves the day while the defuse arrives and Astralis takes the ninth round here. And it's not just a W in the squad name, it's a complete W in the meantime for them. And they're playing so well into this. Yeah, really looks like a great anti-strat from Astralis W here so far and playing very disciplined as well. I mean, when they play aggressively, they all go together, they push in, they get that information. Sometimes Marie being the player are too much alone, but that's OK, because they can get they can give away the yard position. Tinka actually coming back with a different tactic here, having Gobble with her, but Gobble will go down. And now look here, Tinka has players coming everywhere it's impossible to take all the three players that will be an amazing round from her but realistically how they do it now, here we have though an opportunity for permita kind of expected the push from astralis and got some kills from it got an entry as well out in yard and here they go Meta makes the plant. Oh, Ismo. Got out from the smoke here. Finds that one. Could Ismo make a 3v1? She she keeps on shooting that direction. Ah, never mind. Amy B will get the op and we'll shut her down. And there we go. The first round for Permita W arriving here on the T side. The pistol will be quite important for. I mean, uh, it will be a very interesting one. If we see Permita winning the pistols and then coming back into the game on their CT side. Shutting down Astralis in every possible way on T side. As they're pushing through here. Outside, Amy B coming closer and closer. Marie will find her. Now, oh, as they're pushing through here, trying to find something, Marie. Oh, gets shut down from some side. 
Great all peak here. Aurora will be trying to peak as well. Anya makes it down towards events, but behind her, there will be a player. There we go. Josephine finding one. Tinka just sneaks in. Now they're trying to take over the ace site here. Tinka makes some crown work. Ismo. Oh, doesn't get the timing at all. Plant comes through. Anya tries to make it through the smoke, make a cheeky move, but that won't quite work out. It's Ismo and Aurora. And the question is, will they just give this round away here? Maybe not. Look here. <laughs> Actually tries to go for that one. Ismo will be alone. Ah, good frag coming up here. Finds that one. Tinka tries to watch the cross or if she goes to the save, but the timing is not there for Tinka. But look, she'll get that one either way. A 9-2 to the scoreboard. I mean, if they get 9-3, it's still doable. They get this round as well because now the economy will be a little bit tougher for uh, Astralis. They do have uh, two Famuses. One Deagle. Two rifles. And if they get this one permitter, wins the pistol. They're up 9-5. The rifle will arrive. 9-6. They're back into the game. So it's not all over. I mean, it's how a nuke could be sometimes, really. As they just lock it down right now, Permit a W. They feel like Astralis has pushed a lot, so they'll be just trying to hold down while Amy searches. Amy finds Anya quite well. And as that reaction, reaction comes through, Amy finds Aurora, and Mrs. Fire will get Josephine. Mrs. Fire with a good frag here, and Ismo is all alone. We'll get Amy B. But it's the 4v1 and the last of rounds here. And 9-3 could be that possibility, really. Oh, Damali just about denied. But Tinka will deny that play. So into round 13 we'll go here. And it's the pistol coming fast from Astralis here on the T side. Amy B actually going around them, flanking them. But Josephine locks the door. Amy B just runs through actually. And makes it well here. Finds Aurora as well. Anja will find the frag. But look here. The pistol could go for Permita. As Marie only finds one. It's Anja being the super player right now for Astralis W here. Tries to run away. Gets that hunt on her. As she's just running through here right now. Getting the attention of one player. Shoots her down. Can Anya make the clutch here? That could be beautifully done. Oh my. Anya plays around here. Just goes around the Rosie. And plays with Mrs. Fire and gets the round win with that pistol. She's just laughing right now. She's just laughing right now. She's just having fun. That was such an amazing round from her. 
really happy to see that coming through. Take a pause arrives. Yeah, that was such a great mind game from her. Aurora having the issue. Yeah, exactly. You see uh, that she left the server. Not sure if we can just go to the camps maybe or something like that, but we'll just watch how Nuke looks. Aurora's back. Going throughout the yard here. Amy B. Yeah, she just hears everyone outside of yard here. Amy B will be smoked out while Astralis. On the T side is actually making their way towards the B side. It's uh, the wrong sides of the teams. Don't mind that, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, that is something you can't mind right now, but hope we can change it soon enough. And as they're making in towards the B side here, Marie will find some side. Gobble picks up the M4. I mean, if Impact has some technical issues, it's all right for us as well. <laughs> it's a quick fix. Marie. Ooh, that's a great pick from Gaba. She gets that kill. Mrs. Fire will find another one here. The retake could be possibly done here from Permita. As Gaba will make that defuse a 10 second one. Ismo will deny. Ismo in a 2v1 here. She can deny it again. But she can't really find the bullets. She can't really find Mr. Spire in the smoke. And that will be her demise this round. Because Astralis W will lose this one. And Permita will take it away. Maybe finds that one, but Ismo will get the refrag through out in yard position. It's a good peek from Sunside. We'll get Aurora and also damage Ismo a lot. It is an eco from Astralis W here to buy what they can buy and play with that. Ismo has that Galil and we'll be trying to make some work with it, but it goes down in the end to Tinka. Are you lost? Chupatex, what do you talk about? As Mrs. Fire and Gaba will find the frags here and 10 5 2 to school line. Permit a W takes that one. Great round coming through them.
So let's see here into round 16. Amy B makes it out in yard here. While the rifles arrive to withdraw this W, they don't have a lot of utilities. Most of them thrown out as well, but still. Utilities matter. Mrs. Fire finds that one on Aurora. Gobba. Yeah, look here. Sunside will find Ismo here and now with a possibility. I mean, this will be such a heavy CG side for both of them. Anya will be pushed in from Mrs. Fire. But here, the the difference from these two teams has been so far that it's an aggressive side from Astralis. But it's a more passive one from Permita on their CT sides. The way they laugh. Of course they of course you have to have fun in a team. I mean a lot of teams laugh on the camps and have fun as well. I mean good chemistry can take you a lot. Nah, I mean, there sure, there sure is a lot of players laughing. Sunside gets three kills here instantly. It's a full eco for Astralis, so this should be 10 7. Well, yeah, timeout arrives, and now they have to talk it through here because Permita could be coming closer and closer towards them. All right. Goodbye, man. Take care. Now you're being disrespectful and you can <laughs> no spot here for you if you're being disrespectful with that. Round 18 arrives. Rifles again for Astralis W. Let's see here. Amy B will find on here quite well. Nah, it's good vibes. Probably also a little bit shocked that that word <laughs> that round play worked. Hey Muplo, I recognize your name. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Round 18 arrives. It's a 5v4 right now, and Sunside holds down the secret area quite well here. Finding two. That's beautiful. The third one as well. Marie will be alone. And look at the denial that Permita actually pulls through here. I'm good. What about you? I'm all good here. Mrs. Fire just goes and tries to search where Marie went. Finds her and gets the kill. How young is Sunside? Young junior. Young female simple. Oh, she's 17? That's talent. Amy B finds Aurora. As they arrive, Sunside will be fine. That one, Marie gets Amy B.
Tinker will find Anya here. And now it's a 4v2. Isma and Marie will be alone with some pistols, but that will be it. Permita. Now with their logo burning, getting a couple of round wins here. This is fine. We'll be searching here. Plant coming in from Ismo. She makes a plan that actually gets a little bit of cash towards the next round, but still, it's 10 9. Permita really comes back into the game. We counted them out almost in the beginning, but doing so well coming back into the game right now. Yeah, into this one we'll go. Marie finds the refrag here. Maybe B. Great entry from Aurora as well. Winning the hop duel against Sunside. Now, towards the radio area, we do see Tinka pushing through here. This is fire as well. Anya just holds this one. Oh, gets a free kill as that reaction from Permita is towards outside the yard. Gobble has made it up. Tries to find Anya here. And Gobble will be successful with that one. Gets the kill. Comes through here. We'll try to get something done here. But in the meantime, Aurora just keeps her aim quite well. First aid site that will get the plant here. Tinko fires and finds Marie. Aurora finds that shot. Aurora with the AWP takes this round away here. And a great round for Astralis. They'll get that 11th round in. Yeah, here we go into round number 21. Outside of yard is where Strauss will put their most high power in. Amy B. Try to challenge through the secret area, actually. It's a good push. Look here, Mrs. Fire. The timing on Anya is beautifully done here. Gaba will almost be surprised by Marie, but Ismo finds an entry, and now they're trying to go towards the A side here. Towards Gaba, who gets another one. But Ismo gets the refrag. And now it's Tinka alone in a 3-1 position here. They do have some cash per meta still, so they can buy up. I'm not sure if every player has that, but Tinka had at least. Now, as they go down, yeah, they do have definitely to buy again and try to go for this one. But map point arrives for Strawless W. Let's see if they can get that W here.
out. It'll do here, Aurora Fire and Sunside. Aurora's crossroads placements has been quite nice. Yeah, I mean, they've been playing well, but also the timing has been coming through to them. When the pushers arrive from perimeter, they're in spot. I mean, if Anya wasn't there in that second, in that moment, Mrs. Fire has gone through. Already, two entries arriving here for Astralis. We're now down to three man here. Josephine will be pushing through here. Ismo jumps up as well. Oh, look here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> she turns away. And a frag from Josephine arrives. Mrs. Fire will be trying to hold off here, but she'll be naded. As she wides it out, she'll be going down. Tinka will be alone. And there we go. Marie finds Tinka. And we got 13 9 here. A great game. And the applause be made for Marie as well here. <laughs> they played well on their CT side and can close it out on the T side eventually here. But I mean, uh, good effort from Permita actually coming back into this and giving uh, firepower back, going down. I mean, 9 3 on one half and then making it to 13 9 is a great number. They did have the opportunity really to come back into the game as well. I believe they had like 10 8 for a moment. And, uh, yeah, if they got that important round there, could have been a completely different story. But now Astralis really pulls through on their T-side here. Aurora with some great stats, strats, actually. And uh, we'll be getting into the second map, which will be Vertigo, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll see you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys will take care. And I'll see you guys in the next map. All right. Have an awesome day. Ciao.
So welcome back here, everybody. Permita W versus Astralis W. We have a check pause, but we'll be starting off this round soon enough. There we go. Starting off this round here. Let's see how they will do. So... Hopefully, this will be a very fun ride coming through here. As they're pushing towards the A ramp, Astralis W here trying to go execute towards the A site. Mr. Fire will be going down to Ismo. As they're firing through, Astralis makes the plant come through. Now towards a ramp, Marie will find another one. Sunside gets the refrag, tries to flank here, Permita, but won't be able to. Actually, Sunside, Sunside getting three kills, and it becomes a three v two. Too much focus maybe on Sunside here, but Yosemite will find that one. Ismo's quite low. Now as they're making the fake defuse here, Ismo tries to challenge. Galba will find a frag here. But Josephine makes the step, makes the noise, but that's an important frag on aim on Galba. Amy's low. One tap will be enough. And there it is. Josephine saves the day for uh, Astralis here. Saves today quite well. Let's just see how they will do here further along the road. Great entry. Yeah, I mean, it's an aggressive push from Permita here. Ismo will find two kills by just holding off. And now they have some options here because the rotation will come from mid. And Astralis anticipates this quite well. Very all quite well. Gaba gets the good dink. Almost shooting down Marie as well with the USP. But Aurora's nade will make the work. Ismo will find an entry towards the B side. Sunside goes down towards the B side. Here they go, but that's not needed as Marie finds another one. And 2 0 rise. So, the rifle round arrives here. High rifles up. Now into round number three here. Going up towards the B ramp, it's Gobble, who will be the first to contact here. And Anya actually makes it great with hiding away and surprising Gobble here. But Ismo will get the refrag when Gobble finds that frag. Moises Fire goes down to a refrag. Tinko for refires back. The trades are coming in well. But there goes Marie and finds another entry. Has a bomb is towards the B side. Tinka will find Josephine. Now it's a 2v1 for Marie to try to take here. The trade is great. Sunside will be peeked out. But Tinka, as soon as that uh, information arrives, Tinka just wipes it out. Comes from a different angle, comes from a surprising, uh, surprising angle. And we see Permita winning around here instantly, not going down. Uh, what was it? 9 0. 8-0. Sunside doing well with us? Of course. Also, a huge shout out to you guys in Permita. To uh, going into the female scene, really. 
hopefully you guys can keep them and uh, have a nice development in the organization. I love the... I love the pronunciation video you guys had. Aurora finds a great frag here. Good one coming up from Josephine as well. I'm not sure if the same it's the same permitter that it's the same permitter uh, person in the account that is the same when the male are playing, but nice to see you, dude. <laughs> Into round number four here. It's a 4v2 already. And a good rotation towards the B side because information has arrived for Astralis here. I'm the original beery guy. Beery guy. Beery guy. Got you. Ready? Hopefully one day we all can get a good, a good glass of beer. And just have some fun talking sometimes. That would be lovely. But yeah. Into the game we go. Astralis comes back after losing that last rifle round here. 3-1-2 to scoreline will arrive. Here we are, three, one, two, the score line. Jumping into this game, let's see what they can do here. I mean, it's quite the buy they will have here. Tinka makes a good refrag with that AK. She can put some good use to it, but oh my. We'll go down to the refrag of Aurora. And as they're making their way through here, it's Ismo going down, Marie getting Amy B. And the 2 2 will arrive. Finding one. Marie with the refrag. Now it's a 1v1 here. Marie versus Gaba. As she's coming from flank play. Yeah, it's a flank play coming in from Gaba. And Marie not sure here. Actually checks, but uh, won't check for too long. 20 seconds on the timer. Oh, she won't expect... A thing here. Gobble trying to make it through in time, but Marie just backs away. Gobble should know about Marie's position. But no. The timing. The timing. The timing is everything right now. Who will look where? Marie. <gasps> Holds this angle. Gobble. Makes that throw. Marie knows everything. Gobble. Doesn't. And what a clutch from Marie. With a 3k, she'll take that round win. And then two round number six will go here. He's arriving. Gaba just holds the angle, holds the peak. Will smoke down. 
that one as they try to push towards the B side right now. Here, Charles W will try to come through. Tinka finds two. That's great. But Aurora will make the refract. They'll still commit towards that B side here. As she's pushing on here. Aurora with another entry. And Mrs. Fire will find Marie, though. Anya fires back, finds Gaba, but Mrs. Fire finds another one. And we got a 2v1. Now, 2v1 with 14 HP. That doesn't sound so doable here. Permita surely could make that re retake done. But now, as soon as she wides out, they'll be getting the kill, and Permita will take the round away and get it for two. So, back into the game we go. Let's see what they can do from here. And this 5v5 rifles up for both sides. Not the best of buys for Astralis W here, but they will try to make it as they know that they don't have a lot of cash to work for here. But Gaba going down, it's Ismo and Marie taking this one. Sunside will find a frag, but Ismo instant with that refrag. Tinka takes a nade. Tanks a nade, actually. Ismo's quite low, but still surviving in a 4v3 situation. them try and come through towards that smoke as the smoke fades away marie will make that flank play but the rest of the astralis w team will just be hiding it out marie gets that one but backs away down to 21 hp and we'll just make the save only losing uh, two astralis players all five two will arrive see how the economy for permita will do Yeah, they're forcing up, I believe. Kind of. Tinka saving a little bit, Sunside as well, but the rest will, they will buy up. It's no finding Tinka. Amy B on that molly. Just wides it out here, Anya, together with Josephine. I mean, this how I mean the team play that Astralis has in this game has been so well, so good organized, and Ismo has been amazing just playing it out as well. Astralis rushing towards the A side. It's Josephine grabbing a second entry like that. Gaba will be the flying player here, but. Hard clears every corner, finds Ismo, we'll get that AK and probably just go for the save. Marie will find Gaba. That will be the final kill. 6-2. No save will arrive. And uh, economy will be in question. Yeah, definitely a semi-buy round coming up. For the girls at the Permita side.
so. See what they'll do from here. As it's a very difficult buy from them. And they're stacking up the A site. This is beautifully Lurk coming up from Astralis. Look here. Aurora together with Marie. Anya will find one. Tinka gets the refrag. Marie comes through here now. And so will Aurora as well. Ismo gets the refrag or misses fire. Tinka will just survive and try to find a frag or two. Actually finds Marie as well. Aurora will make the revenge. But it's a 2v1 and Ismo is so low here. Gaba goes for the flank play. Finds an AK to play with as well. Has a smoke, has a flash. She finds Aurora here. It's a one HP Ismo that she has to get now with an AK. All just benefits her right now. Molly will arrive. Oh, the timing! She turns around. Ismo gets the kill with the one HP. The clutch arrives. And we'll be having 7-2. W stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. Three rounds left. Oh, it's a great flash, but Amy doesn't get, get the hits there. Aurora will find the refrag. She only gets one kill. She couldn't got so much more. Mrs. Fire takes a lot of fire damage. Has to hold the A-side for a little while here, but Maria finds that entry. And again, Sunside with the AWP with the smoke or behind that smoke could make an amazing play. The Molly arrives against the site, but that will be closed off. Tinka. Now we'll make the flank play here. As they do get that information, Marie shuts her down. It's Sunside getting another entry. 2v2 situation here. Defuse is a fake one. As Marie wides it out, Josephine will find one here with the refrag. Another fake defuse arriving. Gaba will get this one. This clutch will be hers. Not the last one, but there we go. Great clutch from Gobble arrives. Now let's see how this one will arrive here. Two rounds left of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. On side, I mean, that angle, she has to hit one with AWP and she doesn't that time. It's a very aggressive angle. It could work, but. Here's Tinka instead being aggressive and getting the reward of getting down Ismo. But towards the mid is where Astralis got their frag. Now they're coming out here. Aurora with the AWP finds one. Gaba will be refragged from Anya. Aggressiveness towards the B round position could be Permita's demise here. And as they're pushing in, Mrs. Fire being close here. Flash arrives. She actually finds Marie being in that position. Josephine will be low, but here comes Amy B behind. <gasps> actually spots one, but doesn't get the kill. Could have gotten it, but now this will be a difficult one coming through here. 7-3-2 to scoreboard. Two rounds left of the first off here. Amy B makes her way. Amy B shoots through, finds Josephine quite well, and now coming through here against Anya in a 1v1. The clutches has been going well for Astralis right now.
So the last round of the first half coming up. Let's see how round number 12 will go down here. Josephine will find Amy B. Sunside gets on you here. The Mrs. Fire comes out. She finds two with the MP9 here. Finally, there will be flash, but she will get rewarded while she's flash. Has been a couple of times. Well, they try to, but no, oh, Marie. Won't get that one against Tinka. The flash is great from her. Flashes out, gets the kill, and Isma will be alone here in a 4v1, ladies and gentlemen. She has the bomb. Uh, three players low here for Permita. So if she finds Gobble with that entry and survives, that could have been a possibility, but now it becomes a difficulty. I'm locking down the site here. See here. Three players towards the B side already. Oh, could have got the cross, but Mrs. Fire with a great refrag comes up and we got 8 4. 8 4. So, welcome back to the second half. They had a little talk through here. I think the pistols will be so important here for Permita to try to come through. If they do pull through with this. They could definitely continue. Now, throughout the B start, B site, it's Anya backing away, giving the B site completely to Permita. I go for the refrag here, a uh, retake here, not refrag. But Anya will find their first entry. Now, pushing through here, Aurora finds two, Anya will find another one, and Isma will get the last kill. It's a quick retake here. What a great one from Astralis. Yeah, that was an amazing round from Astralis, and they're quite happy with that one. And into round 14 we'll go. Would say ramp here flies a lot of names, but nothing more than that, really. Ismo. You get with Aurora, we'll be trying to hold off a ramp here. It's Sun's side together with Mrs. Fire. Sun and Fire together. That's quite fitting. <laughs> As the sun is on fire. 
But yeah, she just holds the push that could eventually arrive. They're trying to find some heads here. Tinker takes a flash. Take some damage as well. Now they're widened out towards the A ramp here to try to advance. Ismo takes a little bit of damage but backs away. Roar in position. Ismo as well. Marie ready to make some noise as well here. And look. Marie finds the frag. Aurora is needed, but she'll actually get two kills together. Actually, she, 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 yeah, two kills will be the final for her. Great. I didn't jinx it. 10-4 on the scoreboard. Double digits are up for Strolls right now. And their CT side has been so well. I mean, look at Nuke and how they anti-stratted Permita here. Should also be said that Permita is, compared to Strolls, a much more younger team. Like, the, like in team-wise, they have been playing... Not for so long together, and I, I believe Sunside was a stand-in today as well, so... Despite all that, I think they have something going up. And development could come through. Mrs. Fire goes down, and that one, Ismo finds a shot. Josephine just wides it out with the, with the Galil and goes down there. Ismo will get the refrag. And there we go, it's 11-4-2 to scoreboard. 11-4, ladies and gentlemen, is what we'll be having. Astralis is going terrible is going terrible on our impact. I mean Yeah, but also they are talking about young teams, sure they are. Uh sure Permita is, but also Astralis having a young team here, a new development. They also think about this. I mean they spoken out about the uh, Astralis W being a um uh, talented. They'll try to bring the future of the Danish players and uh, think they succeeded quite well having Aurora as well as that IGL with that experience that she has it's quite huge to have but it's a long-term project project for Astralis here and I believe they have something coming up because I mean uh, Ismo and Marie both being 16 playing so well As, as of Josephine and Anya as well, they could be cooking something to the next impact season. Ismo backs away here, gets a kill though. Even though even though they spotted her and they go out, she finds a frag somehow and goes goes down in the end to a refrag. Now it's a four v three situation. As Permita definitely will be taking this round here, most probably. But look, they, there's, there's some diffuse kits as at Astralis. No smoke, but they have some flashes. They can go out on this one. And they'll try to take this one as well. It's a 4v3, but they are going for the match point. And as they do, look here. Quite a good cleanup from Marie here. Quite a good cleanup from Marie! And it's match point! Wow! Sadly, women teams change a lot, so I don't really believe they'll keep this roast. But they do have big potential. I hope we'll see a long, a long project, a long time project as well throughout the rosters. Because short term solutions doesn't always help. If you find, if you do know what to develop, what to do better, what to develop better, if you do find these errors and you can work with them, then you. You can find them. I mean, having a short-term solution doesn't always... Sometimes it does. 
solve the case, but it doesn't always do it. Now they have like a perfect mix at Astralis W with the Aegis. I believe Permita, I hope Permita also makes a long time project of their team. And try to develop a good one throughout the email league here. Mrs. Fire finds Ismo. But it's a 4v3 situation, ladies and gentlemen. Towards the mid area. Here they go. Permita tries to make their way through. It's Marie holding down with an AK. As Mrs. Fire with a nade. With a knife in her hands, Anya will find that one. Marie finds Tinka in mid, and there it is. Marie finds another one. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Astralis W takes this one home. And what a way to do it here. GG's. Well played. Astralis female. Astralis W, actually. Astralis W is Astralis woman, maybe? But yeah, I do enjoy... Uh, watching these games here it's uh, i think also this is the first season that we have of the female uh epl female league so i'm very happy to see <laughs> the lighting is making me all purple here <laughs> but uh, i'm very happy to see a tournament like this coming into the epl as well and uh, as you guys can see astral w will be qualifying here uh, pigeons as well Hopefully, yeah, Permita, GG's. I mean, you can't always win. Sometimes you just have to learn to... Uh, uh, the ones you lose is the ones you learn from. So hopefully we'll see Permita going better and better and uh, prolonging their project. I'm quite excited to see. And hopefully this won't be the first and the last season we get of EPL Female. I would love to have more seasons coming up here. And I hope you guys feel that same as well. So try to support your favorite uh, women's team. And uh, hopefully we'll see more seasons coming up. I'm happy to have you guys here. Hope you guys enjoyed the casting as well. See you guys next time here. The observers and the producers should also get their... Uh, should also get their <laughs> uh, shout out here and it is at aroma for the observer and caps for the producer he's amazing he's also single so um if some of you in the chat want to write to him i can give your discord to him no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> take care buddy have an awesome day ciao